Hi, my name is Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist with Human Tech. Now one of the most common tasks within industry is manually pushing and pulling carts. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to get the same research attention as manually lifting and lowering materials. But more recently, people have started to notice that individuals are pushing and pulling carts more frequently than they're actually lifting and lowering materials. So what does this mean? What do health and safety professionals need to know? Well, in 2014, a group of researchers, including uh, Garg, Waters, Kapelish, and Karwowski, put together a comprehensive review of manually pushing and pulling of carts. So what did they find? Well, first, they showed that there's an association between pushing and pulling carts and discomfort to the shoulders and the low back. Second, the linkage between pushing and pulling carts and shoulder disorders and low back disorders really isn't studied that often and the evidence is fairly weak. So a lot more research is needed. Third, the 1991 Liberty Mutual Tables for Push-Pull Forces are still a valid tool and are probably the best tool available for practitioners. Fourth, it is unclear if it's better to push a cart or to pull a cart. More research is needed. Fifth, it is unclear what the appropriate or optimal handle height is for pushing and pulling. We still need to figure out what is the optimal handle height to minimize shoulder forces as well as low back forces. But probably it lies somewhere between the waist and the shoulders. And last, there have been some new regression models developed that help us determine the acceptable push-pull forces uh, for different handle heights, push differences, distances, as well as frequencies. It allows us to get a lot more specific data. So what does this all mean? What's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is that the 1991 Liberty Mutual Tables for push-pull forces are still valid and they're still the best tool available for practitioners. For more information on Human Tech and the Bottom Line series, please feel free to visit us at humantech.com. Thanks. Have a great day.